I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we got to force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte, you're with the company? Not exactly. That gonna be a problem? If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit is sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They moved them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. Workers working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them. <laughs> you boys see what oh. I see? Oh. Pops Holland smuggling racket. I want to know about it. The drop's coming into the marina. Pissed off motherfucker named Butterbean runs the show over there. You know too fucking much. Holland's not getting any more cargo out to Cuba. Good. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Or is Pops Holland is seriously fucked things to you? Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh, yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Be having it. This, uh, this ain't right. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Get the fuck off me, you big son of a bitch. Of course. We're gonna hold tick for all, but I'm gonna need some of you guys. Okay, my boys are gonna come over and make sure it's all nice and locked down. But I ain't doing it as a favor. I expect you to look out for me. Remember, we're supposed to take down Marcano together. Anyone who thinks Sammy Robinson was the Mardi Gras mastermind is a moron. And just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color.
I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're going to hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean is gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You got to get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed. What about me? Huh? down here busting my ass and now i have to deal with this shit i told you i take care of you and i stand by that when you're back in town and things calm down i'll make it right yeah well you fucking better boat's taking off here in a few minutes i gotta finish up with some things then i'll fly back when i can i checked with vessel traffic services and they're expecting the tanager to arrive any time now frank's a slippery bastard so i have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city his car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> This part of town's run by a man named Tony D'Arazio. From what I was able to piece together, he's a real fucking weirdo. Some kind of savant when it comes to numbers. Then he must be the one who runs Lou Marcano's books. Runs his books, launders his money. Hell, he even manages lose relationships with city officials. It's Tony's job to make sure their asses stay greased. How do I get to him? Well, that's where things get interesting. Tony lives in the penthouse on the top floor of the Royal Hotel. Elevator access is restricted, and the rest of the hotel's crawling with Tony's goons. Well, he can't stay up there all the time. I'm gonna need a schedule for when he comes and goes. I've been watching this cocksucker for a month now, and he's left exactly one time. That was because one of his men fucked up. Took a pipe to the poor bastard's left arm. Well, it looks like he's got a front business he uses to issue bribes and launder lose money. And another one that soaks up funds from the city. I hit him. He overreacts. Then I get my opening. And fuck up things between him and Lou in the process. Be careful with this one. Just because Tony's a goddamn spastic doesn't mean he won't cut your balls off if given the chance. Really? What you call me? I have a subscription. I heard you have information for me. The name's Lenny Davis. I work in the city clerk's office, and your friend said you could help with this guy blackmailing me. What kind of juice makes you someone worth blackmailing? My office approves new projects under development. I... I fucked up, cheated on my wife, and this guy, Jimmy Kavar, filmed it. Come to find out the girl worked for Kavar, too. And now he owns you. He's forcing me to rubber stamp phony building projects and cash the checks for his company, Kavar Construction. Probably seen the signs over where they're building the new city hall. Thing is, Kaval doesn't really come around unless there's a problem. Don't worry. I'm pretty good at causing people problems. Some of his men hang out around downtown. Look, I ain't a bad guy. I, I just made a mistake is all. Keep your head down, Lenny. I'll pay Kaval's men a visit. See what they know. People will know more about what he's doing than I will. Oh, this here's my chance. Taking the shot. We're gonna bump before this asshole. Kavar Construction, tell me about it. Mr. Kavar just moved a shit ton of stuff into money. It's just sitting there, waiting for somebody to take it. 
He on out. I call the shots. Gaval construction is a wreck. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Gaval's really PO'd. Jimmy Gaval called. He's at the City Hall construction site and wants to see me. He knows. I don't know how, but he knows I've been helping you people. He's gonna kill me, or I'm going to jail. Then he'll kill me. Oh, God. Go home to your wife, Lenny. Pack a bag, get out of town for a couple days. When you get back, this will all be over. You'll talk to Jimmy? Sure. The fuck? Get him! Tony D is gonna bury me. You hear? Bury me. Worrying about the wrong man, Jimmy. I'm downtown. Need some help securing it. Yeah, okay. But if you're asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And remember this road was setting out on in the here and now. You can't touch this. 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 You can